Hello StarMade players! My name is Chris, and today I will be taking you through the tutorial sector in StarMade. Uh, this is for new players that may not have completed it and may be getting stuck with the game, or players that have gotten stuck in the tutorial and are incapable of continuing or progressing through it. Uh, sometimes bugs happen, of course this is alpha, alpha development. Uh, and to be honest, the tutorial is a little outdated. Some of the information there may not be correct. So the tutorial itself will be updated in the future, but for the moment, I'm making this video as a reference for new players to come back to and uh, hopefully get unstuck or learn something that they may have missed. So we're going to click spawn. I've just started uh, this world up. I'm here in uh, normal space next to a shop. We are going to click next. Uh, this tutorial prompt should appear when you start your world for the first time and there are ways to activate it again uh, that I will show you at the end of this video uh, so stay tuned for that or skip ahead if you're looking to activate this prompt that will bring you to the tutorial sector so we're gonna click next it's gonna te teleport us to the system I'm gonna click next again here we go so this guy uh, NPC 00 uh, is asking us to come over uh, so he doesn't have to use the radio we're gonna click next he's activated gravity for us can use the uh, W, A, S, and D keys uh, to move around, and space will let us jump. And he's asking me to follow the flashing indicator slash arrow to come talk to him. So uh, that's the uh, indication arrow thingy on the HUD that will tell us where our objective is. If we look away, you can see that there is an arrow that always points to it that stays somewhat in the center of your screen. Um, it's uh, currently flashing pink and white. Uh, there are all sorts of different indicators for different things of the game. Oh, look. There seems to be a missing block over here. Interesting. I didn't notice that the first times I tried this. Um, right, so he wants us to talk to him. Of course, you can move around in this space using the general uh, kind of normal controls, W, A, S, D, and spacebar to jump. Spacebar will let you jump in gravity. Uh, if we press R on this guy, he's going to talk to us. Uh, he wants to go over some basics. As long as we are talking uh, in or a tutorial window is open, you can't perform any actions. There will be plenty of interactive steps, however. Okay. Uh, he saved all the stuff in my inventory, which was on my hotbar, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing some of your stuff when you've spawned. And you can access your inventory by pressing the I key, which is pretty uh, self-explanatory, I think. Uh, pretty normal. I'm going to let you try out the controls for a bit now. You can activate blocks with R. You'll quickly learn that R is used to activate or interact with a lot of blocks. He wants me to try it out on the lights and the gravity module. So, uh, we can look around and mess with these lights, although I'm not sure if these ones are actually turning off. Oh, they are. Okay, so those lights are turning off, although it's not showing us that we can interact with them. This one, however, is it's got the press R here to deactivate this block. So if we deactivate gravity, we are now in zero gravity. It's telling us that we can move up with E and down with Q. You can also align yourself to any structure with spacebar. This comes very in handy when entering a ship through narrow corridors. When aligned, you will also fly with the ship if it is moving. Uh, and then it asks us to press R to reactivate gravity. So I am moving around uh, using Q and E to move up and down. Uh, so. Uh, a thing about alignment, real quick, is that you, as an astronaut, if you are not aligned to a structure, you are always aligned to some sort of galactic plane. It is the same thing that everything else is aligned to in space, like the space station. Spaceships, however, can, you know, roll around and pitch and yaw and do all sorts of crazy maneuvers, so they become unaligned to the galactic plane. And pressing space when you are near them will align you to them. So if you look in the upper right, you can see that I have aligned to tutorial station. Uh, of course, Tutorial Station is already aligned to the Galactic Plane, uh, so we don't have to really worry about reorienting ourselves. Um, we will already be aligned to it. So, if we come back over here, we can press R on this again to activate gravity. Uh, gravity is being applied to us no matter where we are on this station. This one block is how you turn it on. You can turn it off. You can also reorient gravity uh, so that you are, for example, walking on the ceiling. If you place the block in a different orientation, the down arrows point to where the gravity is being uh, is pulling you. So he'll ask us to talk to him again. Uh, he's going to do some more tests, I guess, uh, and he's going to introduce us to NPC-1. Uh, very, very interesting and original names there we've got. So we can come through here. Uh, you can press R on doors to open them if you need to. 
And uh, here's NPC1. So he's going to teach us about the most important thing in Star Maid, and that is uh, spaceships. So uh, block count is not all that managers. Architecture and design also have importance in the uh, role and effectiveness of this structure, etc., etc. Every ship has a core. A core is the heart of the ship, and without it, the ship will not function. So be sure to protect it. Uh, and uh, he wants us to take a look at a pre-built ship, and he wants us to enter the core by pressing R to take control of the ship. Uh, and he's going to assist me over the radio. Okay, so over here we have a pre-built ship, and as you can see, this is the core block that he wants us to enter. Every single ship in Star Maid has a core block, and you will use it uh, in the creation of your ship. That's the basically the starting block for every ship, and it's your way of interacting with the ship, uh, your uh, center of control, so to speak. Uh, you are now in build mode. Uh, I have pressed R on the block, and it has put me into build mode for the ship. Press next. There are two modes. Build mode, to efficiently build a ship, and flight mode, to fly your ship and fire weapons. You can uh, switch to flight mode by pressing the space bar. Now that is uh, actually incorrect. You'll see that while I'm in build mode, I can move around the ship, and anything that is on the ship will be... Uh, like kind of clickable. Uh, for example, if I want to, I can remove that block. And I'm going to place it back here now uh, with the undo button. I'll show you more about advanced build mode maybe later. If it happens in the tutorial, I cannot recall. Uh, but it's nothing you need to be concerned with now. But uh, I'm in build mode and you can now interact with your ship in this mode. You can build and add blocks to it. If you want to switch to flight mode, the control is actually Z. If you press the Z key, you will enter flight mode. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, you can see on the sides your ship's status bars. Also keep in mind that the bigger the ship is, the longer it will take to turn. Okay. Uh, so they're going to talk about HP and system blocks and armor as well real quick. And I'm going to skip ahead uh, so that we can take a look at um, some of these controls. So first, of course, if you're in flight mode now, which you have access by pressing Z, you can fly around. Q and E will rotate you. Control and spacebar will raise you. These are new control defaults. Uh, these are s not things that I am used to, so I'm going to apologize if I crash the ship. These are recent as of the latest patch that hit days before I recorded this video, so... Um, I'm not used to these controls at all, so I may end up crashing a bit. Um, if you press the C key, you will align to Galactic North, uh, and pretty much aligns you to all structures. So if I'm, you know, kind of unaligned, you can see that I am not really in the same orientation as the station. If I press C... I will align to a more straight and forward and leveled out position. Uh, you can hold the shift key, the left shift key, to slow down and stop. Uh, your ship will continue to go forever. Uh, there is uh, no inertial dampening on unless you activate it, and we can talk more about that a bit later if we absolutely need to. Um, and of course, if you want to go back into build mode, press Z. Uh, another thing that I was talking about was ship health and structure, so really quick, uh, what it boils down to is your ship has structure health points and armor hit points. So my ship here has 510 out of 510 for the structure and 450 armor. So when something hits your armor, it negates the damage. And if we go back into uh, flight mode, you'll see on the left side we have armor HP, uh, which is the blue bar, and structure HP, which is the green bar. And to the left of that is shields. We don't have any shields on this ship. Uh, armor, when you get shot with armor, the damage that is done to your armor blocks will be negated and put onto that, uh, that armor health bar. It will be, uh, directed to that armor health bar. Once your armor health bar is gone, you will no longer receive the negating to your, uh, damage. You will take full damage once that armor health bar is gone to your armor blocks. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, with the structure health... That's where your ship health comes into play. That's how you kind of gauge how well you're doing in a combat. And uh, when you hit 55% structure HP, your ship will be disabled. You won't be able to fly. There will be no power generation or shields. You won't be able to do much. Uh, and at that point, it's best to either try and reboot your ship or uh, get the hell out of there with an escape pod or get yourself out in astronaut mode, you'll just leave the ship. At 50% HP, your ship will overheat, and it will force you out of the core. So it will tell you uh, that in order to reboot the ship, you need to press the Y key, 
and this will remove any system failures from low HP and will set the HP according to your current blocks. The reboot time depends on size and damage. And rebooting will take 30 seconds for the ship that I'm currently in. If we clicked OK, you will not be able to do anything uh, aside from look around while the ship is rebooting. I cannot move right now. It's uh, not generating power. There's no thrust and probably no shields. Uh, even if I don't have shields, there would be no shields regardless. So the ship is rebooting and that means it'll bring the HP back to 100%. However, you will still be missing all the blocks that you lost in combat, which means that, um, uh, well, you were kind of got a wounded ship. Uh, you can still fly it, and you've kind of patched it up enough for you to get to repairs and uh, get away from whatever is harming you, but you will have a broken ship still. It will not be completely uh, healed or fixed or repaired until you uh, take care of that at a shipyard or a shop. So that's pretty much the basics of that. Um, there's some more tutorials that I could show you later uh, that will cover that better. Uh, so I'm going to float on over here. I probably should have taken this ship, but we're going we're gonna to float on over here. And this guy's going to tell us how to actually build. So this is NPC2. He's going to talk to us about how to build a ship. Uh, there are various ways to acquire a ship. You can get one from a blueprint. You can steal one, defeat one. You can get one as a gift. And you can, of course, build one yourself. And you can also build as many ships as you want. Uh, you can have an unlimited number of ships. Uh, if you want to build a million ships, go for it. A million ships await you. A good ship builder can construct ships that dominate many other ships of equal size. So let's start with the basics. Alright, so a ship needs two essential systems to be usable, power and thrust. Place both systems on your ship and you will be able to fly. Uh, the more thrust modules you place, the more power you will need for them. Uh, I will give you a core, a few power modules, and a thruster. To spawn that core, press X and name it. Be sure there is enough space in front of you, uh, and he is going to remove the pre-made ship that we had just been in. I guess I was supposed to fly that over. Okay, so he's given us a few items. Uh, you can scroll along the hotbar with the, uh, the mouse wheel. You can also hit the number keys to switch between all of the items on your hotbar. Uh, just above the hotbar, I should make note, is your personal health which is currently at 100% for me. So uh, if you want to spawn in a new ship core, you press the X key and it will ask you to name the ship. It's going to auto-generate a name for you if you don't want to, based on your own in-character, uh, in-game character's name. I'm going to call this Tutorial Ship. Click OK. And he wants me to enter it by pressing R on the ship core. So we press R and now we are in uh, flight mode. And he wants us to switch to build mode with the Z key. For some reason, that is now accurate, the uh, the key behind that is telling me to use. I don't know why. This is build mode. It's the best uh, It's best to build in this mode. You can accelerate movement with the left shift. It should not be right shift. It is left shift. And you can also pass through anything. You are also always aligned to the ship. And of course, you can use the advanced build tools. Let's make your ship flyable first. So, uh, as you can see, of course, I can fly through anything now because I'm kind of in some sort of, um, sort of like a, almost like a planning build mode type of thing where I'm from the, in the, inside the ship capable of, uh, building, like, much quicker and much more efficiently, right? So, scroll over your hotbar and, uh, find the power reactor, place one of those down, he's like, yay, good for you, now place a thruster. Okay, uh, of course you can see the block that you're about to build. That's a preview option. That's, uh, that's something you can turn off in the options menu, uh, which is under graphics, I believe. It's preview blocked build, if I can find it. Yes, so if I turn that off, I won't be seeing that uh, ghostly image of the block that I'm about to place. So if we place down a thruster, there we have it. Uh, we now have a ship, and we can save that by pressing a U to open the catalog. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and now he wants us to talk to him. So, right here we have about the most basic ship you could ever have. Uh, this is what a lot of players use to fly around uh, very quickly. It's like a, a personal little scooter type of thing, like a little hoverboard. I guess it's a very big hoverboard, uh, mind you, but it works. This is a, a very quick way of getting around without actually spending a lot of time building a proper ship. Uh, it, and it will move. Um, it, it is uh, quite agile and quite... Uh, quite fast. So that is um, the most basic you can get really. If I get back in the ship and I press U, we can open up the catalog. You can of course access this without being inside the ship, but you can only save the ship if you are inside of it. So if I pressed save blueprint of the entered structure, 
I can save a blueprint of it. You can save space stations and spaceships. Here we have some space stations. Here we have ships. And this is all of the blueprints on the server. You can take these blueprints and upload them to multiplayer servers. You can download from multiplayer servers if you've saved a blueprint to a multiplayer server. And if you're an admin, you can manage them a bit more properly with the uh, admin tab. So keep that in mind. If you're on a single player world, you should probably already be admin of the world that you have started. So he comes uh, and talks to us and he says, uh, now let's make weapons and other systems work. So we click OK. And he tells us about uh, salvage beams and laser cannons. Salvage beams are how you mine in the game, although the tutorial doesn't actually let us build any salvage beams, so there's no real point in me going over it really, um, but they pretty much work the way uh, these, these cannons are about to work that I'm about to show you, so uh, I'll demonstrate with the cannons. And he, he asks us to put a computer on the ship for the cannon and some cannon barrels. So he wants us to get back in the ship, uh, press Z to enter build mode again, and he wants us to build it cannon computer. So we have some new blocks, we have the cannon computer and we have the cannon barrel. And uh, so this is a weapon system of course. Uh, we can see the cannon computer and we place that down and he tells us that it's now pulsating orange and that means that it is currently selected. Uh, so if you if you press the C key on this you will deselect it. If you want to reselect it you can press the C key again. Orange highlighted uh, blocks means that they are currently the selected block and every block that you place that uh, is supposed to connect to the selected block will automatically be uh, connected in purple however a power module for example has nothing to do with a cannon system right so if we place this down it's not purple it's not highlighted in purple and that's because it has nothing to do with the cannon system there's no reason for the cannon system to try and connect it uh, if we want to disconnect or reconnect something, we can press the V key on a block uh, and it will highlight it purple. Uh, if we try pressing the V key on this power module, nothing will happen because there is no reason for a power module to be connected to the cannon system. The cannon system, the computer here, only cares about the barrels. So if we place uh, a few barrels down, uh, we can get some cannons on our ship, right? Uh, the bigger the barrel, the more damage it's going to do per shot. So we have uh, a weak cannon up top, but we have a much more powerful cannon uh, with the one that I just placed. Great work. The only thing left is to assign your new ca cannon in the weapon panel. Open your weapons panel with G, which is only accessible in a ship. So he wants us to put the uh, weapon on our hotbar so that we can use it. So if I press Z... Oh, I guess he wants us to enter build mode. That's a bit strange. Oh, he wants us to build the cannon again. Oh, okay, he's given us everything again. I think I messed up the tutorial a little bit, but that should be fine. Uh, we'll uh, we'll just do that again real quick. Pardon me, uh, I seem to have broken things. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so uh, we've placed all of those blocks again. If we press G, this is the weapons panel. You can assign controllers to your hotbar here, as well as manage advanced combined weapons. Uh, we won't care about combined weapons for a few moments. So uh, basically, uh, all this boils down to is everything that you can activate on your ship is in this window, the G window, uh, the G key opens this up, and you can drag this down to your hotbar, or you can just click on it and assign it to a hotbar, uh, and if you click on it, you can get more details, a very extensive list of details, mind you. This tells you all of the information about just one of these barrels, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, there are indeed three different barrels on the gun. Uh, I should make note of that right now. Um, for example, okay, he wants us to do a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, so if I take this cannon barrel, right, you can see that they're all diagonal, right, from each other. They're all diagonal from each other. There's one up here, one here, and one here. If I were to place a cannon block there, we now have combined these two barrels into one because they are all touching in some form, somewhere along the line, every single one of these blocks here are touching. This cannon barrel right here, these two blocks are still a separate barrel because none of them are directly touching another cannon block. So if we remove this, we have three. If we place it, we have two. So there's two different outputs with it connected. If I enter uh, flight mode and fire my weapon, uh, you'll see that uh, there's three shots coming out and they're hitting that wall over there. They don't really care if we hit the wall, so that's good. 
And uh, if I were to place this here, you'd see there's only two shots now. There's not a shot coming from our left. So that's how connecting various weapons work for the most part. That's as, about as basic as you uh, need to get with that type of stuff. So he now wants us to fly all the way down here or walk down here to talk to the next person.